In here, Timmy. Uncle Peter, we're invited to a masquerade party. You don't say. Whereabouts? The Tysons are having it for Martha. It's a week from Saturday. I'm gonna be a clown. I'll put flour on my face and ask Dad to make me a punny nose. And I'll get Mom to make me a tram costume out of one of Dad's old suits. They're gonna have ice cream, candy, pink lemonade, and pie, and cake, and all sorts of cookies. Fine. Then when you get home, you can have some castor oil for dessert. I guess I'll have hot dogs there, too. I bet I could eat a dozen. Who else is going to be at this shindig besides you two and the refreshments? Uh, all the fellas. No girls? I guess there'll be some girls there, but we won't pay any attention to them. Girls are no fun. Oh, I don't know. Look at it this way. Most girls grow up to be cooks. And there's nothing finer than a plump, juicy huckleberry pie cooked by a grown-up girl. Girls are all right if they just leave you alone. Suppose they want to play kissing games. Ish. Well, the time will come when you'll see that in a different light. <laughs> I remember a time when I... Mm. Don't forget to feed the chickens before sundown. Kissing games. I bet you I won't kiss any of those girls. That's what you think. They make you kiss them. Then I just moved cold. Ice cream, candy, pink lemonade. All sorts of cookies, cakes, pies. We can eat and then go home. You don't think they'll let you eat first? I suppose not. Timmy, what if the girls were afraid to kiss us? Why would they be afraid? Because we'd scare them. How? With Foxfire. Foxfire? There's a big log down by Peterson's that's full of Foxfire. At night, it shines like the moon. And if we got some and smeared it on our faces and then knocked on the door, when the girls opened the door, we'd be standing there looking like a couple of ghosts. And they'd be so scared they wouldn't dare try to kiss us. Let's go up there tomorrow morning and get some and see how it works. OK. Come on, help me feed the chickens. stump down by Peterson's. Oh, well, you mean saprophytic fungus. I do? The wood glows because it has a fungus growing on it. This fungus reacts like, well, like phosphorus. You've seen the dial on my watch glow after dark? Well, this is radium, but it glows just like phosphorus. Oh, I see. No, you don't. Any such thing. And I don't blame you. You know what foxfire is? It's just wet wood that's real old and crumbly, and it's harmless. Sacral something fungus. <laughs> Why do you want to know about it? Because Boom and I are going down to Peterson's tomorrow and get some. Oh, what on earth for? We're going to use it with our masquerade costumes. Well, how are you going to do that? We're going to smear it all over us, and then we'll shine in the dark. Well, that should create a spectacle well calculated to make you popular. We don't want to be popular. We just want the girls to leave us alone. There's a great awakening coming to you, Timmy. And when it does, it'll make Foxfire seem pretty silly. <laughs> well, it's your bedtime now. Do me a favor, go make your face shine with some soap and water, will you? Come on, Lassie. I will. You stay away from the poison ivy. There's a lot of it there. I will. And watch out for the nettles and brambles. I will. I will. Now, what was that about? I didn't say a word. I know, Mom, but you'll think of something. Mom, don't be such a mommy. 
I'll be all right. Goodbye, Mrs. Martin. Bye-bye. in the daytime. Come on, let's fill the bag. I can't wait to hear those girls yell. Me too. Boy, are they ever going to be scared. special to do this afternoon? I've got to rake the front yard. Why? I just thought if we got back in time, we could go down in Johnson's Meadow and pick some wild blackberries. Yeah, we could. Come on. Just a baby rabbit.
for trap. We've got two more jobs in this condemned area. The old tannery and that shack down by Peterson's place. Flatten them. I know where the shack is, just off the old logging road. I'll head up there now. Good, I'll go take a look at the tannery.
That's Lassie. So what? It's a Martin's dog. Anytime she carries on like that, there's something wrong. She's been trying to keep me from wrecking that shack. Yeah, huh? Let's take a look. What'd I tell you? kids doing in there? We were chasing a rabbit and the floor busted. How do you like that? Well, you chase on out of here and from now on you keep away from empty buildings. You can
can thank Lassie we didn't have to dig you out. Now get going. I was cussing that dog out for being dumb. Look at me. I'm still shaking. Yeah, I know what you mean. But now you can wreck this kid trap so none of them will ever get caught again. You just stick around and watch me. be Boomer. He and Timmy are going to Martha Tyson's masquerade party. Hello, Mrs. Martha. Well, well, look at you. What a wonderful costume. It's a clown. Hello, Mr. Martin. Hi, Boomer. I told you my mother was going to make it. Well, sure did a bang-up job. Indeed she did. Yeah, she copied it from a picture of Pally... Pally... Pagliacci? Yeah, that's it. It was in a book. Where's Timmy? Oh, he's dressing. Timmy, Boomer's here. He'll be in in a minute. He wants to surprise us. Like I surprised my pop. Well, well look at that. There he is. How do I look? About the realest looking tramp I ever saw. Just like you need a dime for a cup of coffee. You look wonderful. Boy, Gee, you look great. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you're going to get there, you better both say your good nights and be on your way. Good night. Good night. Good night, boys. Have a good time. Enjoy yourselves. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs> Let's rear our knees first so we can see what it looks like. Okay. And then put them on the dogs. Yeah, you take Lassie and I'll take Mike. I can hardly wait. Listen, the dog's over in that dark corner. Go on, on Lassie. Wow! Scary, isn't it? Uh-huh. Come on, Lassie. Come on, Mike. Here, boy. Terrible. I don't want to scare those girls after all. Why not? You know how scared we were when that big tractor almost smashed the house on us? Gosh, I sure do. I wouldn't want anybody else to feel like that. Not even a girl. Yeah, I guess that wouldn't be a very nice thing to do. So what if the girls do kiss us? We wouldn't have to kiss them back. I don't kiss any girl. Except Lassie. <laughs> 